Good afternoon, Bluebirds. I'm Evan with Isaac delivering your announcements. Happy birthday to Evan Johnson. Tomorrow is... On late arrival day, you get to sleep in another hour because school starts at 9. We still get out of school at regular time, 2.45, Late Arrival Day is always on a Wednesday, and almost every Late Arrival Day, the HMS Cafeteria serves homemade calzones. Remember to set your alarm one hour later tomorrow. Due to late arrival, late arrival, the library will be closed for students tomorrow morning. Once again, the library will be closed to students tomorrow morning. Did you know that the journalism staff has an online news site called hmsnews.net? They have some wonderful stories and pictures related to events going on around our school and have an updated Twitter feed. They even have a poll you can participate in. Here's a screenshot of their most recent poll. Check out hmsnews.net for the latest from our journalism class. This would be a great site for you all to bookmark on your computers. Remember, hmsnews.net is for all information related to the school. Also, yearbooks are on sale now. Go to jostens.com. The cost of the yearbook right now is $40, but on March 29th, yearbooks will go up to $45. Yearbooks can be put, purchased online. Make sure you get a yearbook. It will capture some good mem memories and times from this year. Everyone knows the seven continents. America, South America, Europe, Africa, Antarctica, Australia, and Asia. However, within Central Asia, there's a country little have heard of called Turkmenistan. There are so many interesting and hilarious unknown facts about this country due to their former president for life. Turkmenbashi. I'm personally against seeing my pictures and statues in the streets, but it's what the people want. Turkmenistan, located in Central Asia, borders Uzbekistan, Iran, Kazakhstan, and Afghanistan. It had been under the control of Russia for more than half a century and was declared a part of the Soviet Union in 1924. Later, when the USSR fell in 1991, the country was finally independent for the first time in more than a hundred years. Sapar Murat Nazov, or Turkmenbashi, was the only candidate during the first election. Because of this, Turkmenbashi was considered to be both the obvious and the only choice for election. In 1993, 99.5% of the population voted for Nazov and 0.5% of the population voted against. Nazov became president for life and he deemed himself Turkmenbashi, or leader of the Turkmen. The thing is, after the election, he had other plans instead of making the population of 5 million people self-sufficient. Nayazov was more concerned that the country had no identity. Turkmenistan was his own play place, and he had the money to shape it into whatever he wanted. Over the 14 years he ruled, he exploited all of his power. Stay tuned tomorrow to hear the entire rundown of one of the most cliché dictators to exist, Turkmenbashi. Tune in for part two tomorrow and learn more about the country Turkmenistan. You'll be quite amused by the many laws Turkmenbashi decreed. Now for our NCAA tournament trivia. From now to the end of the tournament, we will have trivia, a trivia question in the announcements related to the games. If you know the answer, Mrs. M Mrs. Griffith in school you with your answer. She will choose one winner from sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. The first person to message her will receive the prize. The answer to yesterday's question was Florida. Florida is the team to win the most recent back-to-back -back NCAA championships. They won one in 1996, 2006, and then again in 2008. Your winners will, were Chad Gessunez, Will Harold, and Ben Vaud, and also Harry, Haley Parks. Here is your question for today. Which of these cities has never hosted a Final Four? Is it A, Chicago, B, San Diego, C, Denver, or D, Charlotte? Remember to message Mrs. Griffith in School G if you know the answer. One winner from each grade will be selected. Once she has the winners, she will send a message through the Library Media Center group. For lunch today, we'll be having deli turkey sub, chicken noodle soup, potato chips, and vegetable blend. The alternate is a ham deli sub. For lunch tomorrow, we'll be having homemade cheese or pepperoni calzone and steamed vegetables. The alternate is a quesadilla. Remember, you can always fix a salad or add fresh and assorted fruit to your lunch. Have a great rest of the day, Bluebirds.